It's time for a recap of the Energon Universe by Skybound. This time, we're recapping Transformers number 13. Hi, everyone. It is I, Danny the Puppet, and we're recapping Transformers 13. Ah, we pick up with Starscream. Last we saw Starscream, he was being tossed into pieces by Soundwave and thrown off a cliff. But he's okay. Apparently, he survived that, and he's having a traumatic flashback. Back to when he was a peaceful Cybertronian scientist, and his friend Jetfire was leaving, and they're watching, like, the Guardians fly over, you know, like Omega Supreme, and it's kind of cool, and his name is Altar, or just something like that, and he has an air friend named Genevo, or something like that, I don't know how they pronounce it for sure, but anyways, here we are, Starscream. Uh, we see some more flashbacks. We see Autobots coming and attacking Starscream's peaceful city, making the Autobots look bad. Hey, Bumblebee's there, though, and not dead. But it's a flashback, so here we are. Meanwhile, in the present, he's being dug out of the ground by uh, some Crimson Guards, Cobra people, or something like that. Uh, are they important people? I don't know. But we go back to the flashback, and we see uh, poor Gena, Genevieve, or whatever his name is, dying. A uh, new guy there, and he didn't last very long. And then Megatron comes and offers Starscream a job and turns into a gun tank thing. So, you know, if you like him as a gun, if you like him as a tank, you get both. And that's where we end up. And uh, Starscream changes his name to Starscream because he hears the stars screaming or something like that. Bumblebee's still dead, and they need to fix that. <laughs>